Well, some news from the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu, where there is an ongoing crisis within, an, within the AR-ADMK. Now, there is uncertainty on whether TTV Dinakaran, the leader of one of AR-ADMK factions, will travel to Puducherry today or not. Now, eight, 19 MLAs, part of the Dinakaran camp, are staying in a resort in Puducherry. Now, they moved there after the camp decided to withdraw support from the E. Palnisami government on Tuesday. This surprise move came after the factions of the AR-ADMK had reached an, ag an agreement to merge back under the AR-ADMK banner. But in a dramatic twist of events, the Dinakaran camp has submitted individual letters to Tamil Nadu Governor C. Vidya Sagar Rao saying that they are withdrawing support to the E. Palani Sami government after the merger of the OPS faction. Right, and for more on this, we are joined in by my colleague Revati Rajivan, who is tracking all the details from, for us from Chennai. Revati, what is the latest? Will we see TTV Dinakaran going over to Puducherry, where 19 of his MLAs are believed to be staying in a resort there? Well, yes, the 19 MLAs are still at the resort in Puducherry. The latest here being in Chennai. Uh, uh, the government chief whip Rajendran has now said that all the 19 MLAs must face action because they had taken individual decisions without consulting him and they approached the governor without consulting him. And he has recommended to the speaker that action be taken against these 19 MLAs uh, uh, who have said that they are withdrawing support for the EPS. Uh, uh, the chief minister of Tamil Nadu. Now remember, uh, if, the, if the 19 MLAs MLAs withdraw their support for the chief minister, uh, he, the government will obviously fall. But uh, at the end of it all, the uh, decision lies with the Speaker of the House. It's his prerogative whether uh, he wants to take action against these MLAs under the anti-defection law, whether they will be disqualified, whether the government will fall. A lot of these possibilities are still there, uh, uh, which is why the TTV Dinakaran group is now playing uh, some of the last cards that they have. Uh, uh, today they have, uh, you know, expressed that uh, they have uh, given a statement on record saying that they would want Speaker P. Dhanapal to be the Chief Minister and the present Chief Minister resign, uh, you know, under the uh, allegations that they have put, put forth that he is misusing power. So by doing that, by projecting uh, P. Dhanapal, the Speaker, as the Chief Minister candidate uh, that they are uh, voting for, they are also trying to take the Speaker on their side because remember at this point uh, uh, they do have the numbers but the situation is clearly not in their favor even if they go uh, even if uh, it goes for a no confidence motion and if they vote against the government there are all chances that uh, you know all of them will lose their MLA uh, positions and get disqualified and none of the leaders in the AIADMK so far have right. said that even if, if the party falls at this point there is any chance for the AIADMK to come back at this point so the last right. uh, resort that they're playing right now is projecting the speaker as a chief minister candidate so that get him on their side and uh, think, uh, turn around things in their favor. Absolutely indeed, Revati. Thank you very much indeed for joining us from Chennai and bringing us all those details there. So the uncertainty in Tamil Nadu politics simply does not seem to end.